Welcome everybody to AMF East Meadow. Today is Sunday, September 18th, and we are in for the finals of LIGBT House Shot Series tournaments, always held at AMF East Meadow. We are down to the final four, two from the senior, 50 and over, two from the 49 and unders. Let's meet our four finalists. Up first, Miss Carolyn Willis from Bethpage, New York. Carolyn is 47 years young, so she's in the 49 and under division, and she has a 177 tournament average, getting 38 pins. And next to her is one of the senior representatives, and that is Carmelo from Beechhurst, New York. Carmelo is 64 years young. He has a 143 average, getting 69 pins. And next to him is Jojo Alcantara, 48 years young, so he's coming from the 49 and under division. He has a 184 club average, getting 32 pins. And last but not least, he looks familiar, but he's on the camera video for the last tournament we ran on Labor Day weekend. And that is Mr. Joe Ceruzzi from Rybrook, New York. Joe has a 220 club average, getting zero pins. And he is 59 years young, so he's representing the senior division. Okay, bowlers, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. Bowlers, we are bowling. First prize is $1,000, second $550, third is $300, fourth is $250. We're bowling on the recreational pattern Stone Street, 42 feet long, playable. Joe Ceruzzi shot an amazing 877 today for his first three games. Bowling 300, 299, 278. So an amazing start for him. All right, here comes JoJo. Going a little high, leaving the 310. What's unique about this final four? No one has ever won an LIGBT title. So we're going to have a first time winner today taking home the $1,000 top prize. Alright, here's our first look at Carmelo. Oh, when he goes high, leaving a split. So back to back splits for our first two contestants. So let's look at the handicaps and you can see Carmelo getting the most with 69. Second is Carolyn with 38. Third is Jojo with 41. And Joe's way behind to start with zero pins. Joe also won the scratch division today, so he's already got 500 in his pocket. Give her $80. All right, here comes Carolyn. We're looking for our first strike. Oh, it goes down the six, kicks the ten. That's a love tap. All right, here's our first look at Joe Suruzi. So, so far we've had two opens and a strike. Storm is the proud sponsor of the LIGBT. Storm Bowls always dominate our competition. Go visit your pro shop. Ten! The pit for Joe Ceruzzi. What a surprise! All right, here comes Karma. Start out with an open. This one's going high, going Jersey. No, leaving just the six pin. Carmelo Carbonara making his first appearance here on the video. Good to see him. Here comes JoJo. Ripping the rock, leaving just the seven. Good shot, JoJo. JoJo is in the construction field. Carmelo is a retired telecom engineer. Oh, hold on, Carmelo. Yeah! Way to go, Carmelo. Now, Carmelo doesn't look like he gets too excited ever. All right, come on, JoJo. All over that seven pin. Way to go, JoJo. All right. Now let's see if Carolyn or Joe Cerusi can double up. 
up here in frame number two. Here comes Joe. Oh, that 10 pin took its time, but it's a double. Okay, here comes Carolyn. Looking for a strike here for a double. 10 in the pit. Carolyn Willis. Carolyn has been with 7-Eleven Corporate for 29 years. All right, here comes JoJo working off a spare. Frame number three. Ten in the pit for JoJo, his first strike. All right, Carmelo. Carmelo, looking for his first title, has been a member of the LIGBT for two years. He shot a five-game series of 12-19, which finished him in second place to qualify today. All right, a little wide, leaving the one, two, four. Carolyn, she finished in second place with an 11-89 five-game block, which gave her the spot in the final shootout. Ripping the rack, Carolyn with three in a row. Great shot for Carolyn. Carolyn's been a member since 2012. Ten years looking for our first title. Carmelo opening in frame number three. But he's got the most handicap, but it's getting closer. All right, here comes Joe Ceruzzi from Rybrook. Joe, a dental technician. Leaving? Joe needs to keep striking and make up some of this handicap. Oh, ten and a half in the pit. It took the nine pin a little while, but Joe got it. So let's check the scores out. You can see Carolyn and Joe Ceruzzi are clean, perfect through the first three frames. JoJo opened in the first, but came back with two marks. And Carmelo with the most handicap, he's got one mark and two opens. Okay, Carmelo, fourth frame. All right, Carmelo leaving the seven pin. All right, here comes JoJo looking for a double. Come on, JoJo! Ten in the pit! JoJo looking awesome out there now. So he's back in action. Hold on, Carmelo, let's go. Yeah, there's Carmelo. He loves the left lane. Can't get the right mark. All right, Carmelo, doing fine. Carolyn looking for her fourth strike in a row. Spinning it up. Oh, a stone eight pin. She's going to stare that sucker down, I am sure. Great shot for her. I chose Ceruzzi, looking for the fourth strike in a row. Oh, another late nine pin. That bull is trucking in hard to that pocket. Four in a row. All right, Karen leads to make the spare. Come on, Carolyn, all over that baby. Way to go. Thanks, everything good? All right, come on, JoJo. Ten in the pit. All right, JoJo, that's a triple for him. In frames three, four, and five. Here comes Carmelo. Come on, Carmelo, looking for his first strike. Going Jersey, get it. Ooh, leaving the three, ten. Great turnout here today, over $5,000 paid out. We had a total of 92 entries. Uh-oh, this one she pulls, Carolyn. Get lucky! All right, not too bad, leaving the 3-6. Top prize in the scratch, they paid $500, second 300. Third, 
250. So a nice payout for the scratch bowlers. Carmelo, come on! Oh, almost. Leaving just the 10 pin. So he's consistent on that right lane. Three opens. He'll get it back. He's got time and pins. All right, here comes Carolyn. Oh, the bad break for Carolyn as she chops the three off the six. All right, Joe Ceruzzi, perfect so far. He's already had one 300 game today. Okay, and a 299. Getting no pins, giving everybody. So needs a strike. There it is. No nine pin on that one. Ten in the pit. Five in a row. Let's take a look at the scores after five frames. And you can see Joe Ceruzzi five in a row. Joe Joe, he's got now three in a row. Carolyn just had her first open. And Carmine is coming back. Carmine back up there leaving just the six pin. All right, JoJo looking for the fourth strike in a row. Ten in the pit. JoJo is back in town. LIGBT will be kicking off its new Sport Shot Series tournament over at Hero Lanes on Sunday, September 25th. Two squads. Oh, Carmelo missing the sixth pin. Two squads, noon and two. Uh, that's noon and two. And top prizes are guaranteed at 1500 300 and 250 All right, Carolyn, ribbing the... Ra oh, bad break, leaving the 7 and the 10. And then the following Saturday, October 1st, the LIGBT is visiting Rockville Center Lanes, RVC Maple Lanes, for a trios tournament. That's a three-person tournament, any combination, max 660. Entry fee, $100 a bowler, 300 a team. Go to our website, LIGBT.com, for more information. Okay, Carolyn missing the two pins. That's two opens in a row for her. All right, Lucy Ruzzi, after a re-rack. All right, Joe! Pit for six in a row. He's halfway there. All right, come on, Carmelo. Let's get this game going. All right, six ten. You can make that. Which one, Carmelo? 143. He looked like the one. <laughs> okay. Wow. Nice shot, JoJo. Five in a row. Come on, Carmine. Let's make this 610. Come on, Carmine. Knock it. Oh, no. Leaner. All right, so Carmine opens there. Frame number seven, Carolyn here. Let's see how she comes back after a very bad break, 7-10. All right, Carolyn, this one looks good. Ripping the rack, leaving the eight pin. All right, Joe Ceruzzi looking for his seventh strike in a row. All right, here comes Joe trucking. Ten more down for seven in a row. All right, and here comes Carolyn. Well done, nice spare. Let's take a look after seven frames. You can see Joe, Joe, and Joe are at a fight right now. Five in a row, but. JoJo gets 32 pins, so it's still tight. You can see 
Carolyn in third, and Carl in fourth. All right, JoJo, leaving the five pin, going Jersey on that shot. All right, Carmine, let's see if we can get him in the strike. Oh, this one's too wide. All right, Carmine, six count. Nice spare for JoJo, well done. Come on, Carmine. All right, leaving just the head pin, so we've got nine count. Gives him 88. Scratch 157, though, with his handicap after eight frames. All right, here comes Caroline. Caroline looking for, oh, this one's going to go high. Oh! That makes up for the 710 bad break she had. Got a smile out of Caroline. That's good. All right. Joe Ceruzzi, eight in a row now he's looking for. Joe looking for the eighth one. He should, nice run, seven in a row. He should be ashamed of himself for not striking out. Well done, Joe. He's been a machine all day. <laughs> All right, that brings everybody back in the game now. Come on! Good shot. Four, seven. So if Joe spares here, and he does, JoJo should be up two pins, and he is. So what a match we have here, folks. JoJo up two pins with two frames to go, 200 to 198. Third is Carolyn, who can get closer with another strike. And pairing up the fourth is Carmine. All right. All right, Carmine, way to go. Carbonara. All right, here's your leader by two pins, ninth frame. He needs the hit. Tripping the four, leaving the nine. So that gives Joe Ceruzzi a chance. <laughs> All right, Joe Ceruzzi to get it within one pin. There it is, he's within one pin and has got the ball. Nice spare for JoJo. All right, Carolyn. This will put her right back in the match. She can go out for 262. Lucy can go for 278. And 269 Joe can go out, so it is tight. Someone makes a mistake, it's gonna be trouble. Oh, Carolyn getting away with nine there. So going into the 10th frame, it's JoJo versus Joe. But Joe's, Suruzi's got the hammer, so he could finish it off and control his own destiny. Carolyn looking to convert this two pin, and she's all over that. Well done, Carolyn. All right, quick look at the scores after nine. You can see one pin lead for JoJo, but Joe Ceruzzi has the ball. Third is Carolyn, fourth is Karma. Ten frame, folks. There it is, JoJo. Oh, ringing ten pin. What a great shot and a bad break. He threw that like a champion. Yeah. 
All right, Carmine, leaving the six count. Nice bear for JoJo. Nice bear, Carmine. Way to finish. Pit. Jojo bowls a wonderful 226, 258 with his handicap. So we have a chance at a tie here. If Joe Sarusi spares and strikes, we do a ninth and 10th frame roll up. Carmine finishing with 123 scratch, 192 handicap for fourth place in $250. Caroline leaving the double wood two eight. All right, strike here wins it. Spare strike ties it. Big shot here for his first LIGBT title. He's both great all day. I expect this in the pocket. And there it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Joe Ceruzzi's got his first LIGBT title. The wait is over. So he wins both scratch and handicap for $1,500. Nice spare for Caroline, or Carolyn. Thank you, Don. Joe loves it, so he's gonna shoot 278 if he throws another strike. Carolyn, 10 in the pit, finishing with 192 scratch, 230 handicap, good for third place and $300. Champion, 278 scratch. Dr. Paul, flipping amazing. Amazing shooting, bro. Yo, amazing. Show that for the camera, and there's hey, your winner. Come on, Virgin. You shot a wall. You shot a There he is. He is a happy man. The crowd gives him a nice round of applause. Final scores, 278 Joe Ceruzzi for 1,000. Second place, Joe Joe Alicantara, 258 worth five hundred dollars Third, Carolyn Willis, 230 for 300. And last but not, huh? It's 1,500, 350? Yeah. So it's 1,000 first, 500 second, 350 and 250. So congratulations to all our winners. We'll see you next Sunday over at Harrow Lanes. Good night, everybody.